right now there's just this great divide. You know, there's a fight. You've got, you know, the old or older traditional, um, you know, wired, I'll just call them, you know, wired companies, meaning, you know, through a traditional box, um, whether it be through, you know, a, you know, internet or through cable, um, that effectively control the programming. And, you know, they are the market. Um, and they've been the market for a long time. Uh, you know, there's the other side, which is the cable cutters. The guy's saying, you're not going to need these guys anymore because you'll be able to get what you want, when you want it, when you want to get it. When I look at that world, what it says to me is actually they're both going to coexist. 50% is not at risk. That means 50% of the United States is willing and wants to stick with the old model. When you actually look at the type of consumer that consumes those content, they're also very different. Meaning that the consumers that are willing to pay the premium dollar for uh, the you know, wired device, if you will, kind of wants content first run. They want to they be there on Wednesday at 8 o'clock when you know, the new show comes on. The consumer who doesn't pay for it actually doesn't care. They're actually more of a binge consumer. What that leads to is that this world coexists. It coexists in that the traditional programmers and traditional you know, cord holders will still be the premium first run place for content. Um, and I think they just they have to accept the fact that they are going to lose another 30% of the audience, which means they'll own 50%. And 50% of the audience will be on TV everywhere. So for us, um, you know, in you know, placing our bet, we've created, um, based on something called the theory of everything, um, the, the, the uh, um, M theory, which is effectively a 360 degree uh, content, um, you know, uh, fully integrated hub.